first 20 from my park so we've down here for um, 24 hours it's Friday evening. done a overnight last night just on a local day to get called Monk Day we had four fish out of there uh, didn't document it just went down and just on the off chance um, yeah jumped down here Friday night so we're doing tonight into Saturday Saturday night we're gonna go home and have a good night's sleep um, because Sunday, we're heading down to Wylands to help out with uh, Kids in Mind Angling. If you haven't checked out our Facebook page, check it out. Good call, especially if you have children. That makes it sound a bit weird, but you know, yeah. Um, kids in Mind Angling, basically you turn up, they give you rod, they give you net, they give you bait, and they give you a tea, coffee, and a good day out. Don't cost you a penny. Get your kids involved in it. People around helping out. Absolutely brilliant day for the kids, even if you're not into fishing. So check that out, Kids in Mind Angling. They have got an Instagram and a Facebook. So we're down there helping out for the day. Um, and I believe YouTuber Fish with Coal is going down there. So I am think I'm more excited to meet him than all the kids. Um, yeah, after that, we've booked a, um, an overnighter <clears throat> on New Specie. Never fished it before. Never even walked around it, never seen it. So um, yeah. Be interesting to see how we go. That's currently about eleven o'clock. Yeah. And Linton's hooked into the fish. Oh, it's kiting right down that margin. That's one good thing about moat, you can get some nice water shots where it's nice and shallow in the edge. So, releasing back, back to fight another day, back to catch another fish. Yeah. Number one. It was because you said he was going to catch a bream first. <laughs> Let me allow that to get in the net. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, go on, Steph. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that. Thanks. Do you want to it? I can do. <laughs> it's not actually a bad size, look. Can't see. <laughs> We're not forgiving. That ain't actually, is it? No. Nah. You don't want to pick? I said I'll get slimy. me. You want to pick? No, I'll get slimy. me. Okay, well, should we unhook it in the minute? Let me stink, yeah. <laughs> You're going to swim straight to the net, which I don't want you to do. Come on, come here. Thank you. Mm, no, and the other one had more ready. Textbook. What? That was perfecto. <laughs> Fish number two for me. Uh, I'm not going to bother weighing him, but I'll probably say he's probably about 17, 18 pounds, give or take. Oh, steady. Steady. Another one from the park. We'll take that. Parker. We take that, that day. Just gotta try and get Steph one now. Linton. Yo. What do we do when we're bored? We're not bored, we're just waiting for fish, but you know, we do dogs. Right, hang on. <laughs> you know, let's, let's, let's get a dog on this. No. No, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, it's a, it's like a slug, like, with his big foot, like. Um, what's oh, that's a dog, that's a dog. And, oh, <laughs> I'm just about to slip it back. Steph's went. <laughs> Not bad, eh? Not bad at all. So, uh, both of them are unweighed. Big mouth. I reckon the mirror's probably 
Probably a 20, to be honest. Steph? Mm, yeah, easily. Yours? Mm-hmm. Little one. <laughs> not bad, not <laughs> bad. We'll take that. Mm -hmm. Is that worth getting out of bed for? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get these slipped back, get these rods back out, and get back to bed ourselves. You're a bit jerky, sir. Oh. So Steph's uh, modelling the pair of them as I've let her chuck the widers on. Thanks, Matt. You know, size fours in a size ten. Yeah. There's your little common. Oh. All right. Not too bad, eh? Oh. Very fish. Big mouth. What, you were a fish? <laughs> a resemblance? Yeah? Yeah. You're not filming, are you? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Very <laughs> fishy. Ready? Time to fall. I'm just eating the fish, it's not stuck at them. Little fat bumpy mirror this time. Weird old shapes. Probably be a good fish in a few years' time. Um, yeah, it's all depth, no length. Four o'clock in the morning now. Um, another little mirror on the uh, red lobster. Steph ain't had an awful lot, so I'm, uh, I'm gonna rechuck her rod, fresh PVA bag, and hopefully we can get her in in the action. Not bad. We we'll get this one back. Go and get your. Through the hard times and the good, I have to celebrate. Spider crawled down. <laughs> well, it's been very slow for me. Last night I had to think two bream, didn't I? And a carp. <clears throat> Nothing of major size. And then fell asleep today because I was absolutely shattered. And woke up to the front of being ripped up. Quite happy. I haven't weighed it, have we? I like a park lake fish. You like a park lake fish? Yeah. Not bad, eh? No, not bad. I I see you smile everywhere I go You're the only thing I need, baby, let me know Let me take the wheel, tell me where to go Got me all up in my field, should have kept you close Yeah, you did the most, tell me that I changed When I'm separate Like I had the other waders on That'd have been a bad turnout So literally, Rod's been out 20 minutes um, Washed out pink ocean fruit pop-up Over a small bed of ocean fruit and red lobster 24 pounds. That'd be lovely. Can't be that. <laughs> we'll have another one of these. 
beautiful. 24 pounds of part like common. Got in the ocean fruits, washed out pink. I'm made up with this one considering I thought it was a bream. I think it's probably the biggest one in the session to be fair. But I'm made at that. I see you smile everywhere I go. You're the only thing I need, baby, let me know. Let me take the wheel, tell me where to go. Got me all up in my feet, should have kept you close. Baby, you get the most, tell me that I change when I separate. I've been counting down the days till I can see your face. I see the smile shining lights, got me in a haze. You ain't fucking with the kids. I want to see your car compression now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just deep throw the chip. The crisp even. <coughs> Suction's as good as a Henry over. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I need a drink. It will, you just gotta do it fast enough. All right, show off. We've moved. Yes, yeah, and that right, Steph. Yes. Back in peg one. Where it all started. Where it all started. Back in peg one, um, where we was in the first video. Um, we decided to jump. I'm going to fall down this. I know I am. We decided to jump down here for the uh, rest of the day. Rod reels upside down. Um, this is basically where everyone feeds the ducks, um, and it's no fishing over the other side of the bank. So we thought throughout the day, we got probably our best chances to try and get some rods down towards that way in a hope to pick up one more fishy fish. Sound good? <laughs> Touch the ground and it feels like I can see the sands on the horizon at times You are not around There's one good thing about my park I've heard there's some absolute monsters in here Here's one of them So, caught this on a quadruple 18 mil ocean's fruit uh, Three bottom baits and a pop up. The tape was absolutely incredible. Oh, he's flapping. Oh. I'm going to release him now. I think he's dead. Come on, fishy. Come on, fishy. An edit. <laughs> Landing net hole. It's also a super soccer. <gasps> <laughs> that one in my mouth, I'm definitely getting rabies. Got a massive block, moving heads, and we haven't caught enough fish in this swim. So I think it's time to call it a day and go home and have a shower and get ready for the kids and mum and you tomorrow. Sounds good? Yeah. Let's roll. See you later, Dave. Been emotional, mate. Till next time.
Shout out to Joff, thank you for the supplies. We put needs to use tomorrow. Cause you know that I'll be here for you when there's no These are the lads that make Kids in Mind Angling work. You've got Lewis, who is the co-founder. Can't remember. Martin. Martin, who is the manager down at Wylands, and Paul the Pole Man. So when you snap off, this is the man to rectify everything. <laughs> uh, Lewis, how did what Kids in Mind, where did it come from? It came from really, it was more just a we was going fishing Martin. as a family, we we're going fishing as a family, and it was like with COVID and stuff like that, we wanted to give back to the community. You've got kids couldn't go out, weren't at school, parents obviously doing their absolute heads in, and this is something where they can come out free of charge, we cover the cost, come down, fish for a day, get a chance to win trophies, medals, merchandise from big companies and stuff like that, but we just want to do it and make it available for everyone. So obviously, because it's held down at Wylands, which is obviously the main place that it has been held. Yeah. I know you are planning on possibly branching out into the future, but Martin is a, the man that obviously works in the grounds, uh, makes this all possible. So Martin, obviously, it's, I've spoke to you earlier in regards of um, costs, etc. In a day like today, if I come down here and rented this whole lake out, I take it it's going to be a lot more than obviously what Lewis would get it for. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, for us, it's more about uh, getting kids fishing. It's the future of angling. Um, we're happy to support, support kids in mind uh, for that very reason. The job they do to get children angling, get them off their computers, get them down catching fish, and just to see the kids smiling, reading them fish behind us now. I mean, you can't beat it. No, that's not it. And so last the cost all, doesn't sorry. really come into it at all. Yeah, the cost isn't a problem. The thing is, we put this on what it looks like here. It don't look like much, but everything there has cost thousands of pounds. But it's not without donations, grants, funding from Anglin Trust that we can do it. A lot of it's come out of our own pockets, but it's not about the money. The money is earned to be spent, and I'd rather spend it on watching kids smile pulling in their first fish yeah, with exactly. us on the bank. Because, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, I'm quite surprised that you're not really the first ones to put this into play because uh, I've never I've been in the angling scene for over 20 years I've never seen anything like this I've seen kids days but you know you rock up with your own gear you pay your ten pound you fish for the day yeah. I've never been somewhere you get your bait your rods this that yeah, it's all free so fair play pull the pole man yep. in the past 11 events how many pole rigs have you tied up uh, plenty <laughs> <laughs> but it's part of the job you yeah. know I mean the kids absolutely love it um, you know my son come himself I was only meant to come with my kids so they could enjoy learning fishing and it went from learning fishing to getting involved myself and it's a really good turn up for the kids, they absolutely love it, the smiles on the faces, absolutely fantastic and I mean what a better day to, to do yeah. than to go fishing, yeah, see, absolutely we, fantastic. We originally come down to bring our kids down for the day, I uh, spoke to Lewis beforehand and yeah we're down today literally helping out. Um, but yeah, it's sort of gone from one extreme to the next. So it's there's, a, there, there's the Facebook page, which is Kids in Mind Angling Adventures. Kids in Mind Angling Adventures. And then you've got Instagram, which is Kids in Kids underscore in underscore Mind underscore Angling underscore Adventure. Underscore. <laughs> That's all they wouldn't let me have. Uh, they wouldn't let me have anything else. I tried it, but they wouldn't let me have it. You've got a website as well, haven't you? Not yet. Not yet. We've got email address, so you can get us. You can see our events on Facebook, on Instagram, and if you want to book in, send us a direct message or 
our email address info at kimmer.fishing yeah and then we go from there and we can help you out so this is sort of from forward. any age really from we zero up to so it's yeah from there's no minimum age but we say really about 13 yeah is sort of the max just because if you're older than that then you've got to go down the route you have you need to sort yourself out a rod license yeah and that's why we put on the get fishing awards yeah. because there's three different stages once you finish that stage you get your certificate you get your gold badge you get a whip pole and then it's not as if we chuck you out but it's from then for your parents to then say right let's go fishing yeah. let's look at buying a rod license let's make sure we've got all of the correct equipment going forward and then yeah the, the plan is for this is hopefully to get kids into fishing but it's not just the kids you've got parents as well you've got parents which for the past three years due to covid they've had to work from home they've had to stay indoors they haven't been able to see their friends like mentally it is draining and that's where then the mental health side of it comes in to sit on the bank all day fishing people say it's boring it ain't boring i can sit there and not catch a fish at all but i'm chilled i'm relaxed and if it relaxes and chills me then you've got to think of the parents, what's it doing for them, but also the kids. Because obviously what we're doing is for the kids. If they're relaxed and chilled, perfect. Yeah, and it gets them off of technology, PlayStations. And what just a better, better way to spend a day with your children, yeah. really. Yeah, that's yeah. It. You come down, it's free of charge. You come down, we'll take donations. You want to give a donation, what we'll do with that money, we'll put it straight back in. If we need more equipment, we'll buy more equipment. If we don't need anything, we'll put the money in the bank and it goes to booking a venue like this. Like, Martin sorted us out big time in terms of cost, which has enabled us so far, I think we've done 11 this year. And you're talking minimum, minimum of 10 children. I think the most we've had just on a single event is maybe 18 children. I think today, uh, I think we've done. It's been a bit yeah, busy. Yeah, it's been, it's been, it's been, it's been very popular today. Yeah. But we will also obviously continue to support um, you yeah. know, Kids in Mind Angling Adventures and uh, happy to help you in any way we can yeah. Yeah, in the future. Well, no, I'll, to be honest, I'll hold my hands up for you and Amber. Brilliant job. Yeah, I mean, there's not many people out there that would do it at their own free time. I think you deserve it, to be honest, you've done well. But are you working tomorrow, Martin? I work every day. Okay, well, I'll catch up with you tomorrow. We'll run through a bit more about the lakes, etc., yep. and obviously what you've got on offer. No problem. So apart from that, boys, fair play. Fantastic. <laughs> what number's that? That's only the second one. The second one? Enjoying yourself? Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, very good. <laughs> what bait did you have that on? Maggots. Some maggots, what on the pile? <laughs> <laughs> One, Aaron, he's down at uh, Kids in Mind Angling. He's brought his boys down and Zoe, who's set me on camera. Lovely. Um, yeah, they're coming down here as we're saying with Kids in Mind. It's a free event for kids. How'd you find out about it, Aaron? Uh, we found out about it over Facebook. Um, just a link was put up and then we just wrote to Lewis and then Oscar came down. He's been down three times now and he's loving it. Worth it? Definitely. 100%. 100% yeah. So yeah, so the kids are all getting involved. Zoe's having a go. So uh, <laughs> yeah, hopefully you get one soon. We'll never ever find another you in this life. No one will take your place. The winds are gone. But 
Yourself today, Steph. You enjoyed yourself today? Yeah. It's been a bit of an experience, isn't it? <laughs> but no, we'll um, we'll definitely come down and help out again. It's uh, that's if Lewis wants us, obviously. But it was um, it's a good show. Kids enjoyed themselves. We've actually decided just to have a drop on and try and get one ourselves. Turn your alarms off, Noddy. <laughs> That's it? What number of fish is this for you? Uh, you've had... This is... That's 24, that isn't it? Yeah. Number 24, but you had... Oh. How, many, how many perch have you had? 22. 22 perch. And I have 29 fish in total. 29 fish in total. For a day's fishing. This, this one is my 30th. Because hey. I reeled it in. Right, got it. See it, lift it up again. There you go. Lovely. I'm quite actually honoured to say we're probably here with one of YouTube's royalty, Carl Smith. <laughs> royalty where? <laughs> more, more commonly known as Fish with Carl. Um, basically, I've managed to grab him to the side from his busy schedule today of pulling people out of trees and everything else that goes with it. Carl, it is quite an honour to be honest. Um, someone that's just starting out YouTube like myself and Steph, what is one sort of piece of advice you'd give us? To, basically, how did you get to where you are? Main thing is time. Yeah. It was about 15 or 16 years ago when I picked up that camera for the first time. And to expect to expect YouTube as a career to happen overnight is it's not the case. I think as long as you're doing it for the right reasons, i.e. you want to share your love of fishing, you want to give your fishing experiences to others, then you'll be able to do it in the long term. I've, I've known people who went, I want to do fishing YouTube and I want to get rich and I want to be famous and then they give up after three or four years because you're not going to get rich and you're not going to get famous. Did we just get a nibble? Yeah, I'll let that <laughs> um, But yeah, uh, do it because you love the fishing and because you want to you give something back to, to, to people. But the main thing with the videos is, um, the technical thing with the videos, tell a good story. Yeah, yeah. Um, everyone's got a good fishing story to tell. Everyone's got the big one that got away. Everyone's got the story of, you know, the, the, so the one that got away was always this big, wasn't it? Well, yeah, that. <laughs> um, so yeah, tell your stories, show your passion. Don't be afraid to to go on a video and tell people, I really love fishing. And yeah. if other people are like, oh no, fishing's boring, or they say what they say, you know, when I was growing up, lo all, loads of kids would be like, yeah, fishing's boring. Why'd you do it? As I said, I said but, to Cole earlier, when Cole and Alex first released their videos, I had videos on mine that I was going to go, I'm going to put them onto YouTube, and then I was like. No, nah, people are going to take the fun out of me. They, they're going to think that I'm some sort of weirdo. Yeah. Gutted now. Gutted I didn't do it. But obviously we've just started this out. I mean, when you start the videos, you obviously didn't sit there and go, this is going to be my career. Like, no. No, you can't. When you first put a video of you going fishing on YouTube, you can't have any idea where that's going to go. Yeah. Because, I mean, when we started, there's no such thing as a professional YouTuber. No, no. Not in any, not no. in any industry. Um, but yeah, it's nice. It's nice to hear you, you guys' story. It's nice to nice to see that you're getting out and enjoying your fishing and sharing it with others. Well, the thing is, when we um, started ours out, it was more to the fact of for us to look back on in a couple of years' time and go, "Can you remember that session?" Yeah. And we've done it a few times. We've spoke to a few people, got constructive criticism of it, and everyone will always say, "Oh, it's it's. I mean, you really hope video's good, but obviously." The scale that you're on, you're, you've obviously had hate, etc. in the past on the videos. A little bit. <laughs> like, how do you overcome with that? Do you sort of take that and go, fair play, yeah, good insult? Or do you sort of, do you take that, look at it and go, all right, well, next time I'm going to change this up? I think you've got to work out whether the person who's put in the horrible or unhelpful comment 
is is just being nasty, yeah. or if they are actually trying to help you. Because sometimes I get comments and they say, oh, you know, that part of the video is just not very good, or I don't like the way you did that. But it's easy to get defensive. Yeah. But then sometimes you just got to look and go, can I learn from that? If you can't learn from it, if someone's saying, oh, you're an idiot, well, that's, on the gym. <laughs> that's, not, that's not very helpful, is it? Yeah, There's yeah. nothing to learn from that. You just, yeah, you get on with it. And I'd say just don't give up, stick at it. Yeah. Keep enjoying your fishing. Don't let the filming of the fishing take away your love for it. Yeah. Still go fishing sometimes without your camera. <clears throat> yep. Still go fishing with friends and stuff to relax. Yep. And if the camera comes with you and you capture a cool moment, brilliant. Share it with people yeah. and enjoy Have the journey. Have you found that's anything that you've done? Have you found, like, if you're going fishing, do you ever just sort of sit there and think, I should be filming this? Or, like, do you... Because, uh, obviously, <laughs> myself personally, like, do you know what I mean? I'm a plumber by trade. Yeah. And I can't stand my job <laughs> if yeah. i could if i could go into a fishing career tomorrow i probably would but we all would when obviously you, you're now fishing for a living mm -hmm. do you find it has taken the fun out of it at all at times it's it, I, you know a bit, it's put a layer of a layer of stress onto it yeah you know it's fine if you go fishing you don't catch anything but when you've got your cameraman with you and you've booked up the lake and you paid for the flights to get to the lake and you traveled out and then you're not catching, you're going, oh, I don't even get a film out of it. Yeah, yeah sometimes there's a little bit of pressure. But um, my love for fishing shines through, and uh, even days like today. I, I, you know, technically, I haven't really got anything out of doing this. No. But it, emotionally, yeah. you have put helping these many kids out. smiles on kids' yeah. faces today. Yeah. Yeah. And if I can do that with the videos, or with helping people out on the bank like, like we've been doing today, yeah. Yeah. Um, then that's, it's, it's all good. Yeah, well, I'd like to say, pleasure to meet you. Yeah, you Absolutely too. perfect. Carry on with the videos because I'm going to keep watching them. You too. <laughs> like, no! <laughs> oh, here we go. No! Yeah. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> so we're still at Wylands. We're on the new specimen lake. Um, the kids in mine angling finished. So we've jumped down here, got our spots ready for tonight. Um, lots of activity down here, lots of fizzing, showing. So I think we're on the fish. Just uh, fingers crossed that they want to get their heads down to feed. Yeah, it's been a good day. It's been an absolute pleasure meeting some of the lads at Kids in Mind. Um, if you haven't been to it, I highly recommend. If I mean, obviously, if you're not into fishing, get into fishing. Uh, and if you've got children, bring them down. And like I said, it's a free day out. Absolutely amazing day. And there's not a lot there's not a place many places or any places that offer what Lewis and the team do so you know, I've got um, carp basics ocean fruit 15 mil topped with a bit of corn um, an ocean fruit washed out pink pop-up out and some sweet corn on the other rod Steph's gone for the ocean's fruit bottom baits and a red lobster I believe no nope, nope. Both, ocean fruit. both ocean's fruit so we'll um see what tonight unfolds and uh, go from there. So I've just got this beautiful 19 pound cover. Uh, on a single ocean fruit 15 mil boiling. Which is now going to pick me up. Oh, it was heavy on the night. Yeah, it looks like a unit. Yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah. Just a single boiling, chucked out. I did lose the first one, unfortunately. My hook wasn't sharpened. Um, so, yeah, start of the night. Hopefully, uh, get some more. Little princess. Um, what do you, oh, I filmed the princess bit and all. <laughs> you are a princess. Right, news report. So, last night I had four fish. Big lose one, like I said. Didn't even film all of them because I was absolutely shattered, not gonna lie. When am I not tired? Because that is just me. I'm a woman, I like to sleep. Um, so, I had the 19 pound common, which is on the ocean fruit. Um, after that, we had another. Another common which was unweighed, didn't even weigh it, just literally got it back. And then I had another common, yet again, unweighed, that was in the ocean's throat. And then after that, it was another, oh, it was a mirror, yeah, in the ocean's throat. 
Um, so I didn't do too bad. Better than some, didn't I, Linton? What did you have, babe? Look on a bit of paper. On the other side. Blank. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't do too bad, did you, babe? You blank last night. Steph was doing her bits because Friday night I was showing up with my two brain and two bar. Um, so we're going to go get some breakfast, get packed away, and yeah, hope you'll have a nice fishing soon. So five of Anglin Addict UK, hope you've enjoyed it. I'd like to thank a few of the people, Lewis, Paul Man Paul, uh, Jake, Wayne, um, Amber, from all kids in mine Anglin, Carl Smith, you've all made this video possible. So unfortunately, <laughs> Wylands was not too kind for me. I didn't manage to get my fish out of New Specie, but would I come back again? Probably to see Martin, yeah, I would, but 110% I would. But yeah, on to the next one.